These notches are just so when I bind it on with the linen thread um, part of that binding will go into these these notches, one on each side and it will help retain the help retain the arrowhead to the shaft Let's see what that looks like On the other side. Let's just try that against the arrow shaft. Too deep a notch doesn't matter. If it's not deep enough, uh, see, I think they wanted to go a lot deeper. Okay, that one wants to come down a bit. Okay, we're going to bind this other arrowhead in. That's the sound of my wife sneaking past with a wheelbarrow. Of this, this bees wax. So I say this is beeswax straight out of the beehive. I never found the hive, we, we just found the beeswax lying on the ground. It's up in a tree somewhere I guess. Although the wind could have carried it from another tree somewhere. But a few bees nests around the in the forest. 
which is good to know. Yes, we need the uh, we need the bees to pollinate our, our veggie garden. Okay, a bit much there. I don't want to waste it. I'll put it back on the leaf. This is straight. Let's go a little bit that way. A little bit too far. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. Well, the camera is making funny noises, so I hope that uh, there's enough power left to still record what I just did if not at least you saw me do it on the uh, on the fishing head so it's basically the same thing so there's the finished job um, and just for interest I'll show you the the flights on this one <laughs> this is a very old arrow that I made many many years ago um, a very primitive arrow that I made for a uh, primitive survival bow and so the, f the, the fletching is, is simply two whole feathers and uh, bound on with linen thread and uh, as you can see the, the thread this end now is, is, uh, has come loose, it's coming off it's been on here for a long time um, and it's dried out so I'll have to redo that and the fl <laughs> the the feathers are looking pretty pretty poor um, but at the time believe me it flew very well with uh, with bone arrowheads um, in the bow that I was using so uh, we'll see how it goes with the with the new bow and as for those uh, bone arrowheads um, These are the heads here. And I think I made these out of a, uh, a kangaroo leg bone. And uh, shaped them and filed them with rocks. Anyway, they were good and I shall probably still use these again sometime. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I, hope, uh, I hope at least the video has given you some ideas of your own. Um, if you can do it better than I can, good luck to you. Uh, there may be easier ways of doing it than the way I did it, but... Um, that's all I was showing you, was just simply the way that I do it. Okay, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.